from its first breath to its first solid food. Caring for a newborn killer whale is a lot like caring for a human infant. It takes a lot of attention, commitment, and care from both mom and the trainers. Three minutes after, when it, Bob? The anticipation is building around the whale pool. Finally, the moment they've all been waiting for. Katina, the killer whale, gives birth to a healthy baby girl, her fourth calf. It's a welcome relief for everyone, especially Katina. Imagine carrying around a 350-pound baby for 17 months. Mom is doing well, and so is her baby calf. She is um, right on track as far as uh, any indications such as growth, and she's nursing quite well. We do have trainers monitoring her 24 hours a day. Jenny Mayro is a trainer with SeaWorld of Florida. And just like any proud parent, Jenny works to make sure Katina and her newborn are happy and healthy. Each, each whale is special to us. Um, they all have their own uniqueness about them, and we're just excited to see how she develops and begin to interact with her just a little bit more. Bring your little one down. Come on down. Here she comes. Interaction with the trainers begins when the calf initiates it within the first few months, a critical time for the calf's development. That's when the baby whale learns how much fun it can be, from vocalizing and squirting water to jumping with her mother. All those things are normal things that we look for, and just like human babies, they reach them at different levels, and that's okay. Some do things a little bit quicker than others, but we just continue to watch for those milestones, and she will learn so much this first year just from watching and following Katina. While the baby whale makes waves discovering her new world, Trainers are also learning some important lessons. We've learned a lot about um, the nursing patterns, what it looks like, how it occurs. We've learned about milk content. Hi, did you bring your beautiful baby with you? Your two beautiful babies. Developing a strong bond between trainer and animal is key for a healthy birth. It comes down to trust and respect. Being connected to the whales and actually having that relationship and then seeing them successfully give birth and nurture their young is just so fulfilling. These trainers sure have a lot to be proud of. Besides this calf, 10 other killer whales have been born and raised in SeaWorld parks across the country, making it the most successful killer whale breeding program in the world. For Animal Wise, I'm Julie Scardina.